Hey everybody, Norm over here, and we are the Banditos, and we're going to play something today that's very appropriate for that. I brought in the human jukebox, Grant Geisman, because Grant is one of my favorite players in the world. Played on a couple of our tunes that we did together, which is probably the low point in his career. No, that's the high point. Thank you so much, Grant. <laughs> and uh, he played on The Year That Never Was, and, uh, uh, and the other one. The other one, whatever mm -hmm. it's called. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what can we believe? Yeah. So, we're going to show you something. So, somebody put this guitar in a, uh, the washing machine or something and it shrunk. So, <laughs> but it's a really cool little guitar. And what it is, is a 1952 Martin 518. Wow. And Grant, you've got some Martins, right? I Ooh. do have some Martins. I have a beautiful uh, 66 triple 018 that I play all the time. Uh -huh. Great and I have guitar. a nice D35 and stuff. This is like a shrunk down version of your triple O eight. It is exactly right. It looks like it. It's just littler. You know? <laughs> and uh, who was the guy who made this famous? Marty Robbins. Marty Robbins. Great, great guy. Very well known for a tune called El Paso. So doing the uh, try to stump Grant Geisman, I said, Grant, you know how to play it, El Paso. And he started playing it, and I went, holy crap, you know, I mean, you know, so, and if, you My know, it's full of useless information. Yeah, you know. well, not so useless. <laughs> and then when he does Beatle tunes, he does it like nobody else. He's just killer. That one Beatle tune that he did in the previous video where you learned two parts because you thought it was two guitar players Andrew playing. And can sing, yeah. And mm -hmm. you learned it as one guy playing both parts. Because I didn't parts. know any better. Well, so. sometimes that'll get you in trouble. But yeah, that's right. You made it all work out. So why don't we give this a listen? Let's bring it outside and see what this thing sounds like. Right. Very cool guitar. It's got a spruce top, yeah, what mahogany is sides and back. Um, it's the smallest size that they did. It was a size number five, and it's called the 518. Very nice shape for as old as it is for 1952. Got a little wear right over here, but what a great guitar. And we'll show you, a little guitar doesn't always sound little. Yeah. Some big things come in some little packages here. <laughs> so here it is. We're going to have Grant come out and play it. Let's Thank you, it. Grant, for uh, indulging me. How cute <laughs> this is. It's I so know, cute. it's so small. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. And I'm happy because this guitar is older than I am, and that doesn't happen all that often. So. <laughs> but he mentioned Marty Robbins, uh, El Paso, and I kind of know it, so I'm going to fake it here. So this guy is the human jukebox, and uh, he's also, um, you know, he plays on so many uh, great recordings. He's got some great records himself, some jazz stuff, all kinds of stuff. Wrote the theme to Two and a Half Men. Co-wrote the theme. Co-wrote the Always theme. Always say co-wrote. With my buddy Chuck. That's right. Yeah, uh, it was really cool. And I think that turned out to be okay for you. It worked out pretty good. Yeah. So I can't he's in let. The pandemic All Stars. Oh yeah, he's a member of the Pandemic All Stars. That's, right. That's uh, you know, when we did our tunes, and the other one was What Can We Believe? What Can We Believe? That's and right. Grant did horns and all kinds of stuff to it. So very very cool. Had so, to help my buddy Norm out. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> and let me just say something. Grant is like an authority on Beatles, all things Beatles. And um, can you play a little Beatles stuff on that thing? What, you know, some whatever. Well, here's comes here's to mind. just a little arrangement of this tune, which is probably the most recorded tune of all time, is what they say. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Woo! Pretty little Great. guitar. It's really Great Grant sweet. Grant Geisman. Before I let him go, because I am paying him so much. <laughs> <laughs> Play one of the more obscure Beatle tunes. Just anything that comes to mind that's not as recognizable, but you know that people know probably. Pretty, that's pretty not very obscure, but. for not letting them go way too soon. <laughs> we really get our money's worth. Whatever you're paying for this, you know you're getting your money's worth and much more. The great Grant Geisman, and this guy's one of the greatest guitar players ever to walk through the door of this store. One of my very favorites, and just a fantastic overall musician. Thank, Thank you, Grant. Norm. <laughs> Thanks, Grant. Thank Appreciate you. it. That was awesome.